can get in a beautiful car, drive on hundreds of miles of amazing road, and drive however the hell you want. Can we take lots of cars and put them in an open world? The answer was a resounding yes. So we started doing some quite deep research on I think just short of 30 real world locations all around the globe. There was one clear winner, and that was Colorado in the United States. It combined all these things, legendary driving roads and fantastic scenery um, that was really backed up when our environment team came back from Colorado from one of their research trips. The goal of the first reference trip was really to get an idea of what Colorado was like and just the general makeup of the terrain that was there. We came back with video and like no less than 50,000 pictures. Our goal always was to build our own take on Colorado. So we cherry-picked all the best bits that the guys had found, put them into a 2D map form initially, and then from that we started building a 3D world. The biggest challenge is, is finding how to transition from one really diverse looking environment to the next. And that's where our extensive research really came in. That festival, wow, it's sexy every time. The lakeside area, the snow-capped mountains, the plains to the foothills and forests and canyons. It's just epic diversity. Red Rock is probably my favorite zone in the game. There's these massive vistas across the entire world. It's, it just looks absolutely stunning. And we've seen it as our job to make sure that this world is packed full of fun things to do and find. A living, breathing world, you know, birds flying around, wildlife. And you'd be like, wow, is that a geyser? There's always something new. A new race, a barn find, extremely rare cars that have been sort of languishing in the barn, collecting dust, and you can have it restored back to its former glory. Well, the experience is really big. It doesn't get repetitive. Not only does Colorado have a, a real diverse environment, it also has a lot of diverse roads from interstates right up to winding, perilous mountain roads. There's a lot more sweeping turns, um, elevation changes. Uh, the typical sort of long straight road that seems to go on forever. If you're a drift guy, wow. It's the perfect spot for you in that world. It really has the full diversity of driving experiences. The really cool thing about the AI is the festival drivers which you encounter out on the roads of Colorado as well. These are other drivers like you who are, who are just hooligans. They're out there carrying the road up. You catch a Coney's egg or something, you're like, okay, I'm going to beat this guy this time. And you hit X to challenge that guy, that route pops up, you have no idea where it's going to be. It's different every time. You can go right, you can go left. You might have seen a shortcut and the AI will take those shortcuts as well. You miss a turn and hit a dirt road and smash through a fence and come flying out the other side and suddenly be ahead of the guy that you were behind. You really don't know what to expect. It's kind of like discovering your cars all over again, falling in love with the same car you may have uh, enjoyed in Forza Motorsport 4 is an entirely different beast out on the open highway.